For the longest time, I was convinced there was one thing that could never happen. When my short on Courtney Clinney murdering her boyfriend went viral, there was an outpouring of men expressing their experience of domestic violence in the comments. I read out most of those testimonials in a video. The ones who lose their children are the ones that hurt the most. And then I disappeared for a bit, you might have noticed. I had to step back or I would end up being overwhelmed. And then this happened. In the last year, the percentage of women watching Honey Badger Radio went from 9% to 63%. There is an audience among women for men's issues, and Honey Badger Radio is tapping into that audience. I want more than anything for women to open their hearts to men's pain and realize it's not the end of the world if they do. And if you'd like to help keep the momentum going, go to feedthebadger.com support and help us fund this work. And stick around to take a closer look at what's going on. In the last year, Honey Badger Radio has increased its female viewership fivefold. I always thought that this was impossible, or at the very least improbable, and it weighed on me because making these things accessible to women is essential to changing and challenging the culture around men's issues or our great willingness to ignore them. I think a lot of men have been convinced that women would never extend themselves to understand them, just like I was a little bit concerned about that, that they will always have their vulnerabilities walled off behind stoicism on one side and allegations of ill intent on the other. I have some theories about why this change happened at Honey Badger Radio. I can be very esoteric because I think in terms of systems a lot, and in the past I tended to do long-form essays describing the moving parts of systems in abstract terms, and that kind of stuff appeals to men more than women, I think, for the most part. So maybe the increase in female viewership is because shorts force me to be clear, concise, and use concrete examples pulled from current events. Maybe it's because there are a lot of women out there who are tired of watching their men, their husbands and fathers and sons and brothers and friends be bullied, or they're tired of being bullied by other women in the name of upholding a sisterhood that always seems to go one way and that way is to the benefit of women who do not take responsibility. And maybe it's because I hope for it, and I did hope for it. Perhaps the spaghetti monster reached out his noodly appendage and blessed me, <laughs> and blessed this channel. For me, seeing men and women take joy in each other's company is the most wonderful thing in the world. I want men and women to come together again, to understand each other again, to love each other again. Love comes from understanding, and understanding comes from accepting the parts of ourselves we shove into the shadows. In this case, men's vulnerability to women and the powerful effect that women have on men, which can be both positive and negative. I know that won't be easy. There's a lot of anger and resentment, but I also know that the moments that we achieve that kind of connection make it all worthwhile. Whatever the reason for this change, it's good to see. In fact, it's thrilling. And if you want to see this momentum continue, please support our work. We're putting on our monthly fundraiser at feedthebadger.com support. And if you really like us, and I hope you do, then start up a monthly subscription at feedthebadger.com slash subscribe. All of your support is greatly appreciated. We've only gotten this far because you have chosen to care. Thank you for your kind attention. And maybe we got this. Have a lovely day. Oh, and speaking of improbable love, <laughs>